Hello guys, welcome to JavaScript interview question series. Find the series link in the description. This is question number 16. We need to write a function to extract the last n number of elements from the given array. Here is the array and I have written index here for a easy navigation. And the output should be this if we want to extract last three elements. Okay, so there would be a n parameter here in this method. And let's say that parameter is the value is three, then we will return the last three elements from the array. Guys, here we need to understand one thing that this is a portion of this array, correct? And to get portion of a array, we can use the slice method. As of now, I'm just going to console log the result, uh, which means I'm not calling this method with arguments and uh, the, you know the parameters and arguments. Later, we'll do that. First, let's understand how the slice method works. So numbers dot slice. And the slice method takes a start and a end parameter. And you can see both are optional. So here, I'm going to pass a start parameter. And guys, whenever you are using the slice method, ask yourself, what is the index of the item I want to start from? So here, Let's say the n is three, so I want to start from this item 40, and the index of that is five. Let me pass five here and save. So you can see the output is 40, 57, and four, which are the last three elements of the array. So it's working fine. But the problem with that is if the array length increases, let's say there is one more element, index is eight, and now I save it. You can see we have it, it returns last four elements, but we want only three elements, correct? So for that, we need to pass six here. Because now the array length has increased and say now we have the last three elements. So that you can see this value is dependent on the length of the array. Okay, how? Now the length of the array is nine because the last index is eight and it starts from zero. So the length is nine, okay? And we want to get the last three elements from it. So the formula would be whatever is the length of the array minus n, right? So length of the array is nine and n value is three. It becomes six and we are passing six to it. Previously, the length was eight and we had passed five years. So this is the formula guys, length minus n. So here I can write numbers dot length minus whatever the value I want to pass. And this n value would be dynamic. For that, let's uh, define parameters here. One is array and one is n. Now the array would be numbers, your this array and n, let's say we want to get three elements only. And here instead of number now, I can use array, then here also array, length minus n. Okay. And instead of console log, I'm going to return it. And here, whatever the result we get, I'm going to print that. Let me clear the console and save it. Now, as you can see, I pass three here. I get the last three elements from it. If I pass five here, I'll pass the last five elements of the array. Now it's dynamic. But guys, there is a better approach than this because here we have to check the length of the array. We can pass a negative argument also. With negative value, the slice method will start from the end. Okay, so if I pass negative n here, okay, and the value is uh, five only let me clear the console and save you will see it gives me the last five elements only this is much simpler than the checking the length and then subtracting the n from that so with that our problem is solved if you know any other way of solving this problem please comment below see you next time